Yeah, it's interesting apportioning your time on a set and, and what that is and, and how that affects what you can do in a day. And I'm very uh, keen, I work very closely with the assistant director when any film I do, knowing that we've got a certain amount of shots to do in a day and I love planning that out the day ahead, you know, so at least we know what we're going for. Some directors are more open to, to that than others. Uh, but um, I, I, I think it makes a huge difference knowing that uh, you know you've got an hour and a half to do this this setup and we're moving on and after that you're eating into the rest of your shots for a day. But sometimes you have to kind of tailor the cloth uh, to, to, to meet your time requirements because sometimes the scene is being tricky, you know, our actor is trying to find where the scene is and uh, it, it takes much, much longer. And then suddenly you have to pull out all the stops to make the rest of the day work because you can't go over. You don't have that luxury anymore. Um, so a, a lot of the time I'm trying to be nimble with the lighting. I mean, I, I tend to light very simply anyway, and I, I like that as an approach. I remember very clearly feeling so proud of a film that I did when I was uh, starting out. It was called The Winter Guest, which Alan Rickman directed. I met a cameraman friend of mine who I'd worked with as an assistant, Eduardo Serra. I said to him, would you go and see this film? It's The Winter Guest. Um, I think it's really good. And I saw him the next day after he'd seen the film, and I said, so what did you think? You know, expecting some compliment. And he said, I quite liked uh, some of your compositions, but on your next film, you must switch off your lights, switch off more lights. And I just thought it was a lovely thing for him to say because, and I, I always hear him saying it because uh, it's true. I did have a tendency to, to over light things and, and actually the simplicity of a single source not only allows for more movement, it's quicker, but it usually looks better. Actually, the simpler, the better. I, I'm, I'm always a great fan of that. Having said that, I do love uh, ingenious thought in photography, i.e. whether it's a camera move that's tricky to achieve, but well thought out, that tells the story in an ingenious or evocative way. Those things are worth spending time on. And, uh, and lighting, you know, properly. So it's not just about expediency. Uh, it, it's, it just tends to be what I like doing is, is, is working with, with simpler sources. And that, I, I love the, the momentum that happens from working quickly and simply. And that produces a kind of a, a rhythm in the set, a, a kind of a dynamism that everyone feeds off. It, it, it produces this kind of ebullience and vigor on the set that, that everyone can, can relate to. And it, it creates this forward motion that uh, actors love and, and, uh, and you just feel like you're achieving something on a set.